countries which have successfully vaccinated its targeted population against COVID-19. Bangladesh has been ranked fifth out of 121 countries and the first among the South Asian counties is COVID-19 recovery index. While we are, are all reeling from aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Russia-Ukraine conflict has pushed the world in a fresh danger. The conflict and subsequent sanctions and counter sanctions have disrupted the production and supply of food, fertilizer, energy and power and other commodities. Countries like Bangladesh has been bearing the brunt of the impact of the war the most. Prices of essentials have gone beyond the purchasing capacity of the most of people. We should all come forward to bravely address this looming humanitarian crisis. Excellencies, Bangladesh has made impressive advancement in all social economic sector over the last one decade. Poverty rate has go gone down to 20% with per capita income increased to US dollar 2824. Robust agricultural growth has made the country self-sufficient in food production. There is gender equality in all sectors. Enrollment at primary level has gone up to 97.81%. Child mortality rate significantly decreased to 28%, 28 per thousand live birth and life expectancy increased to 72.8 years. More than 98% population have been brought under safe water and sanitation network. Access to government services has been made digital and easy and 5.8% of national budget earmarked for social security and welfare programs. Our sustained efforts all in all areas of socioeconomic advancement have paved the way to graduating from the LDCs. Last month, we opened the longest breeze in Bangladesh, the Padma breeze, which is an engineering marble built entirely with our own finance. This breeze is expected to contribute 1.23% to our GDP. Various mega projects, including Metro Rail, Rupur Nuclear Power Plant, Pyra Seaport, Kanafuli Tunnel, Elevated Expressway, 100 Special Economic Zones, and High Tech IT Park are being implemented. These will be crucial to realize our vision to build a developed and prosperous Bangladesh by 2041. However, there are many challenges in our endeavors for a developed Bangladesh. Global warming and climate change has posed tremendous threat to our existence. Having located in a unique hydromorphological system in the largest delta of the world and with a densely populated coastline, the impact of climate change is extreme for Bangladesh. As we are approaching COP27 in Sharm El Sheikh, a sustained partnership can only get us through. Ladies and gentlemen, the D8 countries with more than 1 billion people have enormous potentials for economic cooperation. Bangladesh has been attracting investment through our liberal, friendly investment policies and arrangement of linkages between foreign and local businesses. Our Export earning has increased from US dollar 18 billion in 2010 to over 52 billion in the last fiscal year. Bangladesh, currently the 41st largest economy in the world, is set to become the 25th by 2035. 
we look forward we look forward towards new partnership to attain our shared vision of prosperity for the people keeping in mind the guiding focus in the implementation of the 2030 agenda the d8 countries have been collaborating in the six thrust area while celebrating the 25th anniversary i think we should formulate some specific focus area for the next decades first implementation of the pta is an important element for a successful d8 we have large domestic markets but our combined market is also considerable inter d8 trade will help accelerate our business prospects and opportunities it should be our goal to double the inter d8 trade from 129 billion dollars in the next decade second bangladesh is ready to provide space at our special economic zones for investment of the member states if we begin the process now within the next decade we will have a robust d8 economic zone and i feel that we can make one special jo- economic zone or we contribute this special economic zone only for d8 countries and that would be named by d8 special economic zone so all the members of the d8 country you can invest in this special place third ICT is an area that has immense prospects. The youths of the D8 countries can be turned into formidable workforce. About 70% of Bangladesh's population is under 40 years, and we have 600, 650,000 registered IT freelancer. We can use this huge manpower to create IT-based industry and involve in the youth and various economic activities. fourth we should concentrate on diversified agriculture production to ensure food security and steady food supply bangladesh is ready to share best practices and experience with other d8 member states we should focus on agriculture production to become self sufficient in food production within the next decade and fifth all the d8 member states should be careful about energy uses and the necessity of alternate energy sources i propose that the d8 focuses on developing capacity by involving other countries who have expertise in alternate energy ladies and gentlemen i am happy to hear that the d8 countries are finalizing the d8 preferential trade agreement it will help harmonize the inter country trade liberalize the barriers and stimulate trade and economic cooperation among the member states it also gives me pleasure to learn that chamber representatives business people entrepreneurs from different member states have participated in the second d8 cci general assembly and in the business expo on the sideline of the ministerial session the d8 establishment 25 years ago is now poised to deliver its goal of economic development through creating synergies this is possible through political commitment and meaningful cooperation of our public and private sectors the immense possibility that we have if realized properly will heighten our power as an economic bloc therefore let us work together to provide the impetus of for harnessing our potentials towards a prosperous future i wish every success of the council of ministers thank you all again khuda hafiz joy bangla joy bangabandhu may bangladesh live forever thank you very much thank you honorable prime minister excellencies distinguished guests 
Our sincere thanks and profound gratitude to the Honorable Prime Minister for her gracious presence in today's occasion. With the kind permission of the Honorable Prime Minister, we announce the end of today's program. Joy Bangla.